The pre-closing walkthrough is typically done on the day of closing or the day before closing. Now this is done in order to give you, the buyer, the opportunity to inspect the home and make sure that everything is in satisfactory condition before you sign on the dotted line. And this inspection could be done by you, the home buyer, with your agent, or you could hire an inspector to help you do this. Now there's one main reason why you need to do this, and that's if the home was occupied at the time of inspection. A home inspection, according to the Florida statute, and I'm gonna read directly from it, means a limited visual examination of the following readily installed system and components of a home, meaning that the home inspector is not allowed to move furniture at the inspection, move frames off a wall, lift anything up, move any carpet. The home inspector could only inspect what is visible and readily accessible. So if the home you are purchasing was occupied at the time of the inspection, that means that there are things that the home inspector was probably not able to see. And now that the home is vacant is the right time for you as the buyer at the pre-closing walkthrough to pay special attention to those areas of the home. When performing your pre-closing walkthrough, it is crucial that you have a copy of your inspection report with you, either a paper copy or an electronic version. I would say an electronic version is better as it gives you the ability to zoom into photos. With your inspection report at hand, go to different areas of the home, such as the kitchen, the living room, the bedrooms, the bathroom, rooms and compare the photos on the inspection report to what you see right now. Another great tip is look at areas that had large furniture in place that could have obstructed items from the inspector's eyes and make sure that there's nothing there that's alarming at the moment. Remember, this is your last opportunity to negotiate or know what the home has before you sign on the dotted line. Now, if you like this video or found it resourceful, please like, share or comment below.